Jones Golf Bags first went on sale in Portland, Oregon in 1971. Since then, they've sold a million bags. So I want to see what all the hype's about such a simple looking bag. Hi, I'm Paul, and this is The Golf Show. There's a fantastic backstory to Jones Bags. Their founder, George Jones, was a cab driver in Portland, Oregon in the States. And in between jobs, he'd sew golf bags together and sell them out the trunk of his car at the golf club at the weekend. Since then, they've sold a staggering one million bags. They keep the same kind of design, but they're using modern materials. So they're a really cool bag. This is the third one of these I've owned. I really like it. This is the new hardwood. These come with four color options. I think with the red carry handle, it's very striking, just a bit of white on the bottom there very good looking bag very light two and a half pounds without any clubs in it it's an unstructured bag so it will collapse it actually comes in a in a box when it got delivered i wonder what i'd ordered so these are really nice bags in the states this is going to cost you 170 dollars in the uk you can get about 170 pounds if you are from the uk i would recommend getting from a uk retailer if not if you order them direct from jones the shipping to the uk is about a hundred pounds and you have to pay an import tax of about another 50 or 60 pounds so all of a sudden you're looking at a 300 pound bag and it is a lightweight carry bag you know we perhaps don't have the weather to use this all year in the uk but let's take a closer look at the bag On this hardwood range, I really like the contrast of this shiny fabric with this vinyl. It's all waterproof, it's going to keep your clubs dry when you're putting them down on the ground, even on an early morning where there's some dew on the ground. Nice and light, that bag takes up no space in the beauty car. So the first thing to talk about is the classic retro single strap. Really well made, nice contrast there between the modern materials and this heavyweight vinyl. Must have a, an inch of padding there, really comfortable to wear. They're very famous for these straps, it's one of their trademarks, as is this twisted leather handle. You can put your towel in there, you can clip your bush nail on there. That's all great. Three pockets in total, two on the front, one on the belly. This first pocket on the left is a shallow pocket. It's kind of like a ball sleeve. Next pocket goes under there, you get your drink in there, your scorecard holder. There's no small pocket for tea, so I have to keep my teas in a in a little bag but that keeps it nice and light and underneath we've got an umbrella sleeve I'm probably not going to use that because I want to keep it light a decent sized pocket on there for some clothes whatever else you want to carry around when I first saw Jones bags I kind of dismissed them as a Sunday bag or a pencil bag but they're absolutely not I've got a full set in there there's 14 clubs in there there's two dividers which give you three sections I'll show you those in a moment and if I take a club out of the middle bit no problem getting them in and out maybe if you had Bryce and DeChambeau like grips you might struggle but that is absolutely a bag for a full set of clubs. So it is an unstructured bag as I say this came in a box obviously I've got some stuff in the pockets you've got two dividers in here which I think work really well I did have the Jones utility rover bag which I reviewed in a previous episode of the golf show I'll put the link below and that just had one divider giving you two compartments and that was a little bit fiddlier for getting your clubs out these don't have any dividers in it's really simple as you'd expect from jones but just having those two dividers there three compartments is absolutely perfect for 14 clubs getting your clubs in and out this bag is 36 inches long these dividers are great as i say i'll definitely go for one with two dividers giving you three compartments in there these are really well made let's say this is the third one of these bags i've had i've had no issues the straps the buttons the zips have all been first class it is an absolute quality bag as you can see 14 clubs in there no problem i've gone for four at the back which will be the top of the bag when you carry it five in the middle five at the front
more space in there than you think. And there are two ways you can carry these bags. You can carry it sort of the traditional clubs facing forward over the shoulder, or for a more kind of retro look, sling it on that way. How cool does that look? When you've got it that way, it's really easy to get your drink out, anything out your pockets, another golf ball if you're reloading. So that sounds fantastic, but is there any downside to this bag? Well, unfortunately there is, and there's two issues I want to tell you about. Firstly, the price, £170, that's getting quite toppy, you know, that's like a good quality carry bag, but it is premium materials and it's a lovely bag. If you don't live in the States, beware the shipping charges and any import tax you're going to have to pay. I had one of these shipped over from Jones a few years ago and it got lost in the post. And I have to say the customer service was brilliant. They sent me another bag straight away. So that was really good. I had a chat with them to see if they had any pictures of George Jones and sadly they don't. So if any of you have got any pictures of George Jones, please send them in and I'll pass them on to the Jones company. Now, the other issue, those of you with keen little eyes will notice there's no, no press studs on there. Well, where do you put the rain hood? That's the thing. There is no rain hood, so if you're out in the rain, you are going to get these wet. You're going to have to put your towel over it or something like that. But here's what I do. When I got my first Jones bag, maybe five or six years ago, I was aware there was no rain hood, so I bought one of these. So this is a hood come towel that, that Titleist make. I think you can still get these. And this is brilliant. It's stitched on two lengths. And if it rains, you put the side, the non-towel inside, which has got this kind of showerproof, heavy showerproof fabric over there, and you're good to go. So that works really well. Bit of a shame to have a different logo on there, but it does the job. If I'm on a train with one of these, you can get some bungee ties and tie that on just so your clubs aren't falling about when you're on the train. So there is a solution to it, but it would have been nice, especially for the price, if it came with a rain hood. Okay, so that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. As you can tell, I'm a huge fan of the Jones Golf Company. I love the backstory, I love the history. I love the sort of retro looks with the modern materials. Yes, they're a bit pricey, but they're really nice. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, give us a like, and we'll see you next time on The Golf Show. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.